I, I just always like to debunk this narrative that VD Talks is not the uh, update anymore, so I don't know why they don't, but they they don't update anymore. But I found the DVD and Blu-ray Tots, which is made by the same guys who made the last one. I talked about Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, this weekend, why I do this week because Wolf Breaks the Internet is doing worse than Bohemian Rhapsody and A Star Is Born. Well, Human Rhapsody came out first, so I'm mad to get the more amount of people to go see the movie on Blu-ray and DVD. People could have always saw it on digital, but 2 million people, around 1.3 million people bought the movie. 1.5 million people bought the movie on its first week. Uh, it's now sold 2 million copies, which to put that in perspective, let's go to the top Blu-rays of 2019. No, combined videos, not blue ways. That's just blue ways. Combined videos, um, they haven't updated it yet. But 2 million, because the Star Wars Born and the Grints have also passed the bill a million as well. Um, let's put that to a perspective of Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody is already within three week, two weeks alone. Already have Hotel Transylvania free summer vacation of 2019. Ant Man the Wasp. Venom, which only had a few weeks. Um, Ready Player One, Blade Runner, The Meg, Skyscraper, and other movies that. 2018 was actually pretty much an improvement over last year. People, there are still people who still buy Blu rays, that's why they still market them towards people. If people didn't buy Blu rays, then they would just eventually just stop mocking them and just say, hey, no one cares about this stuff anymore. A Little Mermaid we released. I actually have the original movie. I uh, sold 151000 because I had a Wii release with the, gold, with the silver privilege of Disney movies. But World Breaks the Internet. Where gets disappointed Domestic 1. Only managed to grow 600000 But then again, there were two movies that released before then that did well. Um, Next week, I think there's going to be another big movie coming out. Not really big. A Fantastic Beast 2, not a great movie. It's not going to probably do that well. Probably gonna barely go sell a million, but wealth breaks the internet. Probably gonna be an easy two million sellers just because the Disney movie, Disney animated movie. There's no other movies that are animated by Disney coming out this year, so wealth breaks the internet. Actually, there is one, but in terms of Blu rays and DVDs, there is none. Frozen 2 is released at the end of the year, but that won't be coming out until 2020. That's the thing. Wealth breaks the internet will be the only soul. Non Pixar Disney movie for the year. So it's like you can have pretty great wigs, especially around Christmas time when all the kids are wanting to new see this movie. So, with Robin Hood, no one's buying that, of course. It's a terrible movie. Or uh, the Grinch, man, has to sell a million within a few weeks. It, that, it's because a lot of kids are going to go get this, want to get this, and it's going to have those usual kid movie wigs. How to Trade a Dragon, because of the new movie. Overward, no one's really buying that because the movie flopped. Between Worlds, Professor of Hannah Grace, America of Scots. Nobody's, nobody, it's those movies that nobody cares about. Um, movies that didn't make that much money, so they're not making that much Blu-rays. Creed is still up here. Sold 1.8 million copies. Spy, 1.8 million copies. I don't even know what Spy is. Boys in the Hood and Baby Boy. Some old, uh, more old movies. What is this movie? I think it's a discounted movie, Spy. This must have been a very successful movie. Spy sold um 1.8 million copies. Um Robin Hood sold 229,000 copies. It's pretty decent for a movie that only made like 40 million dollars domestically. SpongeBob the movie out of water, 1.4 million copies. Oh uh, Start with all the collection. It's doing okay. It's a collection. It's basically for people who haven't seen the two. Don't own the movie separately. Fallen Angel, same thing. Carly Tans and Meatballs 2. DVDs. A lot of people are buying that on DVD. Same thing as Spongebob movie. The Lion King, same thing as well. And possible hype for the new movie. The Sorrows, Pioneer discount DVD movie. Um, Venom is still doing well. 
the crappy Canada Hat movie is on the list for some reason. The worst, one of the worst movies ever made. Or uh, Penguins of Madagascar uh, is on the list because of discounted DVDs. Um, Black Transman is nearly off the list because it has been pushed down by the discount DVD movies. Uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, 3.2 million. Captain America is on the list, 7.546 million. Hey, hey, the hate you give is still not dead yet. The Widows is still still in okay. Uh, Nutcracker, nobody liked that film. Understandably, no one's watching, no one's buying it. So that's it for DVD sales and Blu ray sales. And if a, if a Blu ray slash DVD is able to sell 2 million in a few weeks, and Bohemian, well, it's not, it's no new as it used to be, but Blu ray and DVDs will always have its niche market. So 80% of people really go buy it. This is just in America, of course. VT Tots does tracks games worldwide. VT Tots is worldwide. DVD and Blu ray sales from this, chart, from this site is only American sales. So I won't be surprised if Bohemian Rhapsody sold like another million, so like 10 million copies in worldwide already because of how popular the movie was in Europe and, and Asia. The film was really popular in Japan, where it's now one of the highest grossing movies ever in Japan. It was the highest grossing film of last year in Japan as well. Star Wars couldn't do that, but... Highest grossing films in Japan, Bohemian Rhapsody is be ahead of Star Wars and Toy Story 3 in Japan. The film also did pretty well in South Korea. So let's go for all time because Bohemian Rhapsody is near like a 900 million. So worldwide. Same that Captain Marvel grows to billion, but there's nothing we, can, nothing we can do about it. It's going to outsell Dark Knight, which is a far better movie. But of course, if he does the Dark Knight to inflate it, and the Dark Knight beats Captain Marvel in almost everything. Bohemian Rhapsody. Let's go to Ford. And the film did really well in Asia. X screen sign which gave it a limited release for some because it's about a gay person. Movie grossed four million on its first week in Japan and managed to gross one hundred and twelve million dollars, which is more than France and Germany combined. Then we go into um South Korea and South Korea the film made more money than the than well Queen Queen is from United King they're from the United Kingdom. So it's amazing that this film is more popular in Korea and Japan than actually UK itself. Of course, the UK is, did not beat this film in America. We still have the highest grossing market for the movie, but let's go to the Captain Marvel for a second. Here's the thing of Captain Marvel. Let's go to superhero. Uh. Adjusted for it's just all the movies for inflation. The Dark Knight is not is a way ahead of Captain Marvel. Okay, even in worldwide gross, Captain Marvel is behind most movies still, and still be it still probably won't be in the top. Might be in the top twenty, but adjusted for inflation, these movies or in ticket sales. Captain Marvel is way behind the Dark Knight in ticket sales. So a lot of people are going to see it, but it's still behind the Dark Knight. That's just some boring and useless trivia I decided to give you guys. How many tickets have Arita made? So Arita has made 9 million tickets. So 
Nine million people still saw the movie in America. Of course, it's not counting. Um, it is of course counting people who bought saw the movie. Like some people said, they saw the movie like ten times. So, I think at least seven to eight million people have bought saw the Elite Battle Angel in America, which is kind of a win because that's a lot of people going to go see one movie. Not as big as Marvel, but a lot of the big franchises usually start with small movies. And if you look at Alita already outsold the Huntsman the, the Huntsman movie, which was terrible. Huntsman, Snow White, and the Huntsman. It also has outsold Tron, the remake that nobody wanted. So good, make sure you like, subscribe, and goodbye.